I'm gonna mount this arm that goes to the Z-axis ball nut onto this cast. Hi YouTube, Hans here, Harbor Freight Mini Metal CNC project. In this video, I'm going to show the beginnings of the Z-axis motor mount, which leads to the ball screw mount first. Um, but in order to do that, I have to do some more work on the power head of the, of the mill. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. And please help me out and like and subscribe so you can see more of my content on this project in the future. This way lock, which I won't be using normally, is present right here. So I'm looking at putting the motor here, but <clears throat> the part that's a little frustrating is that I'd like to have it be two inches closer, um, but this is in the way. I feel like I want this here. If I were to disconnect the, the ball screw, or the arm for the ball screw, I can still hold the, the, the head up with this. So I'm debating, I don't know, do I put the motor here or here? So my other option is to put it on the other side. Got this wire right here though for the motor. So I gotta, I gotta think about this. This wire will always be going up and down when the mill is operating like that. So actually, this, this is actually looking not bad right here. If I put it on the other side, I gotta be out further. It's just the further I am cantilevered away, the worse. So I think I'm leaning this way. I'm gonna draft up something here. So I've run into my next oh shit moment, I'll call it. And I didn't think this through all the way before. I have this mount for the Z axis, um, which actually, I mean, it looks like it's gonna work. Couple things though, um, I made the hole only so the screw would fit through it, but I think I really want this part to fit it in it. Um, and then the next issue is that I can't get this head all the way up to here because I didn't run the slot in the center of the column um, high enough. I also have some ribs from the casting that are catching on the ball nut and I had clearance those ribs further down in the casting, but I didn't anticipate coming up this high with the arm. So I, I've got to take this whole column off of here, and put it back in my mill and make those changes. I'm showing a little close up here of how I got the inside edge chamfered on this. Uh, it's not real easy to see, but um, down where the slot is, I was able to run this dovetail cutter and cut off ribs that were protruding inward, getting in the way of the ball nut. And um, the way I did this and even loaded this cutter in here because the diameter is too big to fit through the slot is there's a there's a hole there's a hole in the back side there and I can I pulled the cutter up from I pulled the cutter up from that hole and then I tightened it into the collet on the mill uh, that was the only way to get a inside chamfer it seems to have worked pretty well so I'm happy I've 
got the slots opened up. I've got everything put back together. The problem before was my uh, Z-axis ball nut uh, mounting arm that is going to attach here. It wouldn't allow this to go all the way up. So I cut this slot up higher. And now I'm, I can go past. I can make it both ways. I'm going to mount this arm that goes to the z-axis ball nut onto this Holds cast the, the power head and i've got that slot opened up i gotta fit it in here challenges there's stuff in the way everywhere um, it's a tight squeeze that's next so another view of this i need to mount this like this so i need to mill this surface flat right there but that's not easy to do. I can't come at it from this way because this is in the way. Um, it's about almost three inches long that I need to go because this thing comes almost all the way out. So I, I have like a long fluted end mill, but it's too big of a diameter because I need to get this arm located biased a little bit to this side. This will reach and this will clean up there, but I need to I need to eat into that corner and that wall right there. And then there's to make it more challenging, there's an existing hole there. And there's four socket head cap screws with countersunk holes. So I have to figure out how I'm gonna get a cutter in there. In order to mill this surface, I need to get everything squared up and lined up in the mill. So you saw those pieces that I that I made earlier and I was grinding to finish. They fit in the T-slots of the table pretty tight. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm setting them in there like that. The next thing I'm doing is I'm setting dowel pins like this. They'll contact that scraped surface in there, the dovetail angled one, and then they'll press against the against the guides there. So I set those there. And that is it, perfect. Holding, I'm pressing this way as I'm tightening to, to make sure this is seated against the, against the dowel pins down there. Okay. I don't want to go too tight. I, I know this casting is flexible, so that should be good to, to cut it. 